Hey guys, it's Josh Stern and Michael Walters with the Stern team. So we're super focused on keeping you guys informed in this time of a very shifting real estate market. So you guys have all of the knowledge to make good decisions when it comes to home selling, home buying, um, or, or your investing goals. And today we have a lot to talk about because we wanted to talk about how the mortgage market has been affected by uh, COVID-19 and kind of how it's changing the landscape with the mortgage. And here's the thing, Mike, Chase just announced that it has stopped accepting any HELOC or home equity line of credit applications for their homes, right? And this is done on 418. So of course, they're calling this a temporary pause. But in addition to that, Chase is now requiring a 20% down payment uh, and a 700 FICO credit score on almost all of its loans. Yeah, and you know, interesting there, but not all lenders are doing this. And this is just an example of institutional reaction to fears that homeowners will stop paying their mortgages. And mm -hmm. this is in large part because the government has created some confusion behind their mortgage-backed securities with Fannie, Freddie, and, and FHA requiring it a 12-month moratorium on mortgage payments if the borrowers suffer a COVID-related hardship. Yeah. In fact, United uh, Wholesale Mortgage, the second biggest mortgage lender in the country, recently announced that it'll require ver re verification of a borrower's employment on the day their loan is scheduled to close. Wow. And the purpose of this is to move to ensure that the borrowers are actually still employed when their mortgage closes. Mm -hmm. Most lenders have made this move. Um, it's the fear that the buyer's job at the beginning of the process of purchasing a home may be in jeopardy, and now they require a VOE or verification of employment the day prior to settlement. Obviously, lenders want to make sure that the borrowers have cash flow. Right. So the bottom line um, of all of these changes is lenders are attempting to protect themselves and borrowers from getting into a mortgage that is not in the borrower's or the lender's best interest. So while United Wholesale and Chase are some of the biggest names um, that have made these changes as a reaction to the market, they're definitely not the last, right? Between 2008, 2011, during the Great Recession, I remember how low loan programs were literally disappearing on a daily basis. In large part, that was actually a good thing back then. So the meltdown was in fact spurred by corporate greed and borrowing money to anyone who could fog a mirror and then hiding those in large wholesale bundles that then were sold on the secondary market. Again, like the, the movie, The Big Short. Yep. Yeah, and we suspect that these changes will last beyond the local and national reopening of our economy. You know, time will tell. In the meantime, our lender still has access to mortgages with as low as 3% down on your payment as interest rates are still at historic lows. Right, they Making are. Making this a great time to take advantage of the buying opportunities as they relate in the cost of home ownership. So give us a call. We'll put you directly in touch with our preferred lenders to get the ball rolling. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it.